Welcome to London. Today I am in South Kensington where we're going to be checking out an exclusive behind the scenes look of a very exciting photo shoot for Harper's Bazaar India. We're delving into the world of diamonds and Francesca the curator is going to be talking us through it all step by step. So tell me a little bit about your jewellery itself. Tell me about your company, your brand and how long you've been involved within the diamond industry. I started about a year ago. I'm very lucky in that I have a family connection to um, one of India's most established diamond companies, which means I get uh, very privileged access to the best diamonds. When I first started doing it, I was particularly drawn to Polky diamonds, um, which is the kind I'm wearing today, because they're a bit different, they're not so blingy, and they're more organic. The Polky Diamond retains its original shape. So if you there no two are ever the same. And that's how it comes out of the ground and it's polished on both sides, but the shape is the original shape as it comes out. So the settings are all done around the individual stone. And tell me how did you meet Francesca and get involved with today's photo shoot? I met through Francesca through a mutual friend and we just really clicked about what we both love about the Polky Diamonds is they're organic, dare I say a little bit spiritual and diamonds can often be thought about and even worn perhaps as a currency, as a way of saying, oh isn't this expensive? That's a wonderful thing to do but then there's also this other side to them which is just about their really amazing beauty. What I wanted to do was put that at the forefront rather than the monetary value yeah. of the stones. Yeah, this is the Sally Agarwal logo and I've had it made into charms so that it will come with each piece of jewellery and you can either choose to wear it or not wear it. Um, the charm itself is an eye, as you can probably see, with a diamond in the middle. The design I chose because one of the nicest quotes I've ever heard about diamonds is that they are the window or a window into the unseen world. And so how did you come up with um, the photo shoot today? Well, it's mostly Francesca's idea. My inspiration for this collection was an amazing bowl of roses, white roses, which I saw in a stately home. And I would just let into it late at night one night and it was moonlit. And I just glimpsed it, saw it at the corner of my eye and thought, it, but the image stayed with me. And I feel the same about these types of diamonds. It's that kind of thing. Did I see it? Was it real? You know, something magical about it. I'm currently joined by one of my favourite people in the fashion industry Aww. in London. It's Francesca. Thank you so much for having us here today. How are you doing? So far, so good. I think the morning's going pretty well. Tell us a little bit about the theme of this shoot. What's going on here today? What's going on here today? Well, this shoot was inspired by the Polky Diamond. Obviously, loving diamonds myself, I think most girls do. Um, I've always been sort of fascina fascinated by the four Cs. Obviously, Polky lacks the last one, which is uh, cut, because they are uncut diamonds. This gives something quite unique in terms of the aesthetic, um, which is that they have a very particular shine. It, it looks to me it's a bit like the moon when, when you kind of stand from, you know, you're looking at the moon in the sky and it's kind of got this really gorgeous blurry shine to it, very much like a polky diamond. But yet when you get up close to it, it's, it's quite rough, like the surface of the moon. It kind of has that sort of rock type look, hence moonshine. That's how, that's how the theme came about. And then I was thinking kind of more about the history of Polky, obviously having an amazing Indian heritage in terms of its craftsmanship. And I was thinking a kind of about bringing a tribal element into it. I wanted to kind of keep it Western. That was something that was also important to Sally because Polky is a very accessible diamond in terms of styling. It's a lot easier to wear perhaps than kind of all your bling bling which you wouldn't necessarily wear kind of on a day-to-day -day basis um, so you know so that's how the whole thing really came about and 
on on that basis kind of thinking about the moonshine tribe was a term that just came to me because I thought that creates a narrative the story just kind of came to me in my head this girl is part of a tribe she's part of kind of a diamond reform whereby she's styling diamonds differently she's doing things differently she's cultured she's she has an understanding of fashion but she is cultured in the sense that she's always looking for different things so hence we enter a world a story about a girl who is part of something greater, part of something knowing, mysterious, with a great history and heritage and everything like that. And that's how the whole theme came about. And I was thinking about colours, obviously, moon, grey, I think probably everyone knows by now. I'm obsessed with grey. My company colours are grey. Everything about me is grey, grey, grey. I, I love it. It's between black and white. And that's kind of that, you know, midpoint in between that you never know what, quite what's going on. It's all the philosophy in between black and white. And I love that. And then I thought, OK, fantastic. You know what? Surprisingly, I've never done a shoot which is all grey. <gasps> what? Shock horror. I've never done a shoot which is all grey. So I thought I've got to do that. I was thinking about texture, we need to bring in that kind of that tribal, that organicism. Polky is very organic, being uncut. And I thought, okay, so, you know, tribal, moonshine, grey brings in the contemporary, the cleanness, but then you've got the organicism coming through as well. A picture was created in my mind. I always do a creative book, so I kind of have sequences of how everything's going to look like. We have a fantastic photographer, Roberto, who you'll meet. I'm the kind of person where I'll say, you know, can we do that? And I'll get everything, well, it's pretty impossible. And he never <laughs> says anything is impossible, so that makes me really happy. Um, and he always kind of, I don't know, we have the, the same wavelength, I guess, when it comes to, and he's ama an amazing photographer. Um, and then we have Lan um, on makeup. She's, she's brilliant. She's doing all sorts of crazy and wonderful things in her own career. She's really wonderful. Um, she She's great at doing kind of this sort of makeup that we're doing today in terms of kind of really creative things. Mm -hmm. um, and then Yuko also is, is working with her and, and she's amazing. She does amazing skin, amazing eyebrows as well. Eyebrows is like my thing. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with eyebrows. Um, and then and then Taka, Takanori on, on hair, you know, and that's that's really it. It's about having the culmination of all of the, all of the right kinds of creative minds coming together to achieve that final result, basically. It's been an amazing day here at the Blakes Hotel and I've loved every second about learning about Polky Diamonds with Francesca. It's been a wonderful experience watching the photo shoot firsthand here and I bet you guys can't wait to see the photos that come out in Harper's Bazaar India. I know, I definitely can't wait. Thank you so much to Francesca and her team for an amazing day and thanks to you guys for watching. If there's anything you would like to see in the future, please do contact me on Twitter. The details are on the screen right now and I would love to hear from you. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye-bye.